Good morning. Coming to you from Nestle Feather Studio. We are headed into the studio for the day. This is going to be our intro video. Intro to the studio. There's my faithful sidekick, always with me. You ready to go to work, Bear? Mm -hmm. You ready to go to work? Let's go to work. So this is our garage slash shop slash studio. It's the world's quickest commute. Get some lights on. Wipe our feet. Sound of the furnace keeping it nice and warm. Warmed up for the weekend. It's only most of our work. This is my latest addition. My new work area. Yay. I will be here in just a bit. Just wanted to do this quick video first. I'm gonna get it posted to Facebook today. Something something that's my work for the day. soon. And this is my Good morning studio. Missed you. It was a long night. It's my new little store area. Some space to sit and hang. Look at product. Purchase product. Let's get some lights on. Set our drink down. That's our rest area. It's <laughs> our break area. And our view of the outside. The one view we have. We will have more window up here. Hopefully this spring. And yes, it's March, but we still have snow. Plenty. Lights on over here. I'll try some funky new ways to light things. Like LED strip lights, which is working out pretty well. Just need more. <laughs> and uh, we have a ceiling fan now. And, oh yeah, there's a ceiling fan way up there. Getting more of the ceiling finished. It's a work in progress, but I have moved in. There is the photo studio. There's the glass area over there in that corner. And we come around to like jewelry and office and supply areas. And our big TV. Our big TV, which is a great deal. Thank you, Best Buy. And already settling into it. We're not on your bed, silly. Let's turn on some YouTube. Show you what we're going to be working on here real quick. So yeah, this is my... I always paused from a video. We always have a video going these days. Watching, learning. Some old handmade papers, which actually quite, look quite lovely as you're sitting here. You see all the beautiful little sparklies up here. And let's see. What are we looking at today? Oh, today. <laughs> I'm going to take this picture of my lovely hydrangea arrangement from two years ago. And I had like 50 some blooms. Beautiful blooms. Now, granted, the picture is pretty contrasty, but what we're going to do is hopefully transfer that onto this piece here, which I am just not quite happy with. Oops, there goes a pack. So, 
it's not a bad piece. I'm just not very happy with it. It just does not feel finished to me for some reason, so. Other. I'm just not sure which. Maybe this one? Hmm. Not sure, not sure. Anyway, I'm going to try transferring that on there. I'm going to show you one other thing. This I'm kind of psyched about. <laughs> just got a new shipment of resin in yesterday. Going from acrylic pores to resin pores. So we're using the Envirotech light. I'm going to try to stay out of my own shadow here. And show you. Oh, I just love this. Look at those colors. And the depth is just so much better with the resin. You get to work with opaques and transparent. And Glitter, and well, of course, you can do that with your acrylics too, but it's the same. Once it's encased in that lovely resin, so yeah, let's get some more lights on. Maybe some more of the area that I work in, more and more. <laughs> the more I'm here, the happier I am. So we added this little area last weekend, just a little more counter space, and while I was way at retreat, Cliff and Eddie were super, super busy getting all this extra ceiling up. Look at all that, almost to the top. And my other latest love is playing with glass, so I got this little microwave kiln which does not look like much but I'm telling you for right now it does pretty much everything I was hoping to do I'm slightly disappointed because I had my heart set on a kiln a bigger kiln because you know me when I fall in love with something I go right out and buy a bunch of stuff to do it and so I have all these wonderful molds that are too big to fit in that little jobber. So. But then I had to go and go to retreat. And as I was sewing on my sister-in-law's fantastic $10,000 Bernina, I completely fell in love. So my goals have slightly changed. And that's what brings me to my next plan. It's my little grinding area for grinding my glass. More tool storage. I'm going to get into backgrounds and ladders and some clutter. And back over to the photo studio, which I also want to show off a little bit. It's, yes, cluttered because I am working on very small sets right now with jewelry. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of part of my setup. I uh, use as much natural light as possible, as you can see from the window. I actually have to block some of it. That's what that little white thing on the frame is down here in the corner. And um, sometimes I need a little light from the side, so I busted out the old-fashioned strobes, and I just clicked the modeling light on. In fact, I'll do that right now. Let's take a look, see what that looks like. I think I'm still plugged in, or... No, I unplugged. That's a good girl. I unplugged. Well, bear with me a moment. I'm not sure exactly what you're seeing right now, but I'm sure it's more interesting than what I'm fishing for right now. So plug in. Okay, so yeah, all right, you're looking at a box, wonderful. Um, yeah, broke out the old uh, 
brown color, brown line, spitatron, brown line, strobes, and um, the modeling light, you can see, you know, I'll turn it on here, you'll see, adds quite a bit. <laughs> the strobe part, thing of the past. Don't really need it anymore. I see my background's falling over. Oh, lovely. That's not good for that. Turn around here. We can stand up straight. Okay. Edit, edit. <laughs> yes. Okay. As I was saying, working on very small sets with pair of earrings right now. Got a couple new pair of earrings made. Clipped in. Absolutely stunning. I'm in multitasking <laughs> these days. That's what having the studio is all about. Uh, being able to keep a whole bunch of little projects going at the same time. Keep the product mill going and start adding some new listings to our Etsy shop. And again, that brings me back to the purpose for this video pretty much is here we are. This is what we do. I want people to get to know us because we're going to start asking you for money. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm seriously considering um, starting a Patreon page or GoFundMe or something because I love to sew as well, and that's the one thing that's missing from my little store area here is any of my sewing projects, which I will start posting some more pictures of as I start getting them out, because that's what I did on retreat this year. I really got after some what we call UFOs, unfinished objects, and I have plenty, and that's when I sat down and fell in love with that big Bernina, and... $10,000 is a lot of money. A lot of money I don't have, and I really, oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how, how badly I want this machine. It has a stitch regulator on it, and that makes all the difference in the world. I mean, I am no expert in any of this. <laughs> As you can see, we dabble. We dabble here, we dabble there. We sell some scraps, we sell some supplies. Um... We'd like to sell more product. I love doing so many things. I love glass. I love painting now, too. <laughs> I've freed myself up and allowed myself to enjoy it. Um, and we love sharing these beautiful things, you know. It's like it, and we don't ask a lot of money for them, usually. It's mostly just to move them, get them off our space so we can make more. And... Um, I would like some help. I would, I, we, I should say, my husband, God bless him, my behind-the-scenes man who will never probably be on camera or a YouTube video, but we don't know. He, he likes watching them, so he may get brave enough one of these days. We especially enjoy the couple ones, um, watching people do their pours together and stuff on a Friday night with a couple glasses of wine. That's right up our alley. Um, but yeah, so... This is us. We are nestled feathers, and that's the one thing I didn't bring over this morning. I thought I was going to bring some business cards over, but let me see if I just can get a, a close-up shot of some packaging here. We are nestled feathers, and um, we need money so we can make more things. And having that machine, I think, will be the difference between me continuing to sew, period. <laughs> which I don't do bad at. I mean, I get great project ideas. You know, that, that, that comes from a lot of folks. My sister-in-laws, my, my friends, my family. Um, but yeah, it's start like, get to start adding that to the repertoire. Some fabrics, some quilts, some bags, some totes, some, uh, you know. Oh, mug rugs, you know, the same thing everybody else is making, but 
with our twist, you know, our, our little twist on things, our little twist on life. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you um, can find us soon, and I will, believe me, be posting once we decide how and when we are going to provide some financing opportunities for you. Um, help us finance what we like to do. Maybe we'll even get into doing YouTube videos ourselves. We don't know. We've tinkered with the idea. We, we certainly have the camera equipment, so it's just a matter of getting it all together. But money helps, so give it a thought, and um, we'll hopefully find a way for you to help us out. Um, and one little parting shot of my boy. Say goodbye to the folks, Bear. Bear Bear? Hey. hey. Say goodbye to everybody. I know. He's looking. He's like, oh, mommy. My toes. My toes are so wintered. It's going to warm up soon, bud. Hey. Bear Bear, can you say goodbye? <gasps> Hi. <laughs> yeah, can you say goodbye, sweetheart? Everybody's watching you. Yeah, he's he's a lover. He is my love, love, love. Aren't you? Yeah. Okay, well, Mommy's going to go to work. We're going to end this video. Yeah, Mommy's going to go to work now. Okay. Say goodbye to everybody. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone.